As we look back and remember this year, I'll always remember it as the hardest year of my career. And I've only got through that by working with an incredible team. That team across health and social care, across the NHS, in Bristol and its wider area, but also across the whole country and the globe have come together in incredible ways to fight this virus. I work in intensive care. We've been intensive in our treatment this year. We've researched this virus. We've created new treatments. We've delivered a vaccine, much of the research done here in Bristol. And that's been incredible. Uh, the hard work and determination of my colleagues has been amazing but we haven't always been successful. And that's something we must remember. We haven't been able to save everyone's life. And that's where the other part of my job comes in, the care, because while we haven't saved everyone's life, we have been able to care for everyone. And nobody's been left alone. No one's been left to die alone. I'll remember all of the patients that I treated as people, not as a statistic. I'm gonna remember those people I spoke to, those hands that were held, when this first started, we had no idea whether it was going to affect healthcare workers more than others, but my colleagues strapped on their masks and their PPE and they went to care for the patients as they have been taught and trained to do. And in fact, we have lost colleagues. Um, we've lost colleagues from this hospital. We've lost colleagues across the NHS and we will remember them and I will remember them. And I will also remember how brave people were, how courageous. And I hope that while we look back on this year with great sadness, we can look forward with some optimism that the sun's gonna rise again. There will be hope, but we're never gonna forget uh, those who worked hard and those we lost in this year.